Hello, I want to welcome you to uh, Northside Open Door Church, a little bit different um, this week, but I uh, wanted to start out by just um, telling you a little bit what's going on. If you um, hadn't got the email yet, actually if you hadn't got that you probably aren't watching me right now, um, but uh, no church for right now, we're not, um, we're not giving a date when we're coming back to meeting together. Obviously we're waiting for uh, kind of all this virus um, threat to pass. And as I was thinking about this, uh, a couple things I wanted to emphasize was one, caution. Um, even if you're not afraid of getting the virus, I would still say use extreme caution because um, you may pass it along to someone else too. Um, the other thing that I'd like to emphasize is we want to stay connected to each other and to God. Um, and the last one, creativity. <laughs> that we're going to have to, we're kind of getting forced to do this in ways that maybe we hadn't thought of before. Um, in fact, me standing here today is kind of the fact of that. I was stretched a lot this week to try to figure out how to make this work. Um, but encouraging you to be creative on staying connected. Um, it makes me think of what church is. Um, church is much more than just watching a video right now that you're doing. Um, because church is about a body. Um, part of this connectedness is us learning the same thing, looking at the same thing. That's why I'm doing this. Um, but I also want us to say, stay connected to each other. We got caution, connection, creativity, church. Um, and now uh, care groups. That's how I'm wanting us to try to stay connected during this time. And I communicated somewhat um, in an email, uh, but just want to bring some more clarity. Um, care groups are not us having smaller groups getting together. Um, care groups, I'm looking at us not meeting physically, okay? Um, but whether it be on the internet, in groups, chatting, or if you want to get, do phone calls, text, whatever that might be, um, looking to get those set up this week. I'll put these together this coming week, let you guys know about that. Um, and my purpose in that is that we can be praying, caring for each other, and, and maintaining that church aspect of being connected um, that I think is so important. So caution connection, creativity, care groups, and last of all, I was just thinking, in this time, people are going to be fearful. Maybe you're fearful, too. Um, but in this time, I really want you to be kind. And yes, it's spelled with a K, but I was going with the C thing, so it, be kind to each other. Um, and, and especially, I mean, people may be reacting out of fear. Um, People may just be highly stressed. Um, there may be differing, there will be differing opinions. But want to encourage you um, to show the love of Christ, even if someone, in your opinion, is reacting really, really badly. Um, we want to display Christ's love uh, in this time. Um, want to draw attention here too this is our church contact information and want to give a shout out to Tom Poston he has been working really hard and has this site up and working www.nsodc.org um, if you missed the first part of this and are just getting in right now this will be posted as well this video after the fact will be posted to our website also we encourage people to be praying for each other and a lot of times the way we do that here is we put those purple slips um, in the box. Um, I think the website has a little bit of a purplish background, but on the website there will be a form for prayer. You can go to the corner and one of the main things is prayer, and you get to put in your prayer request so that we can continue that connectivity and praying for each other that way. Um, but I would encourage you to tell people about the website. Um, if you see people from church, many people probably have not gotten on Facebook today. I'm counting on, uh, including my own family probably. We were trying to figure that out. <laughs> but uh, for those uh, that want to go back, this website is going to be key in that way. And again, uh, you guys can give your own thanks to Tom Poston. Uh, uh, he's been working despite his pain and everything else and got this up and running for us. 
Um, we're trying to be creative. Um, I want to take time now to look at the scripture together. Um, but before we do that, um, would you join me in prayer right now? God, we come to you today um, and we're asking um, that you would help us um, to be cautious. Uh, we don't want to um, infect unintentionally someone just by not being cautious. But at the same time, God, I pray that you would help us to truly stay connected to you. We need you. Uh, this world needs you. I pray, God, that we'd stay connected to, to you and be able to be a light in this dark world right now. I pray also that you would help us to make creative efforts to be connected to uh, our family, our church family right now. And help us to, to be kind to those around us. Pray right now as we um, open up your scriptures that you would speak to us, um, that you would encourage us, um, and that you would give us uh, strength to go on today and strength to be who you've called us to be. In Jesus' name, amen.